everyone, how are you? Are you ready to do some more maths today? Okay, so today we are going to do some measuring. So that means we're going to see how long things are or how short things are. Okay, we are going to do two different sorts of measuring. The first one you can join in with right now when I'm doing it, okay? The second sort, you can just watch and then when we're finished, you can go off and do some measuring of your own, okay? So, what we need to do first of all, if you're going to join in, you need to go and get six things from around your house, any things. I'll show you what I've got. I've got a train or a carriage. I've got a pen, a hammer, a maraca, a car, and a wooden spoon. Okay, so go and get six things. Off you go. Right, and you're back with your six. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to put all the six things to the side and I'm just going to choose three of them. Okay, so I'm going to choose one, two, three. So you do the same, okay? Just choose three of your things. Okay, so watch me first and then you can do yours in a second. So we are going to choose, just grab two of those. We're going to get two of those things. So I'm going to get the spoon in the car. Okay, I'm going to measure them. I'm going to see which is the longest and which is the shortest. So which do you think? Is the spoon the longest or is the car the longest? Well done. The spoon is longest than the car. So the spoon is longest and the car is shortest. That's the word that we need to practice as well. Shortest. Everyone seems to know longest, but shortest is the one where we get a bit stuck. So the spoon is longest. And the car is the shortest, so I'm going to put them there. This is where it gets tricky. The maraca. Okay, where shall I put the maraca? So let's measure it against the car. Which is longer, the maraca or the car? Well done, the maraca is longer. Okay, which is longer, the spoon or the maraca? The spoon, well done. So we need to put the spoon at the top because that is the longest. Then we'll put the maraca in the middle, okay? And then we'll put the car at the end because that's the shortest. So we've got longest, shorter, shortest, okay? Right, can you have a go with your three things that you've got? See if you can put them in order. So you've got longest, shorter, shortest. Okay, off you go. Longer, longest, sorry, shorter, shortest. Fantastic, have you measured them and sorted them out? Well done. Right, I'm going to put these three to the side. We'll just have one more go with that. So get your other three things, I'll get my other three. Okay, let's do it together this time. So, which one is the longest? Okay, so I've got a hammer, a train and a pen. So, oh, this is a tricky one actually. Is the pen longer, can you see it, than the train? It is, isn't it? So the pen is longer than the train. Is the pen longer than the hammer? It is, so the pen is the longest, so we'll put that at the top. Now, which one is the shortest? Is it the hammer or the train? These are really tricky. Measure them against each other. Oh, can you see they are very nearly the same, but the hammer is just a little bit longer. So we'll put that second and the train is the shortest. So we'll put that there. Okay, so we've got longest, shorter, shortest. Okay, you have a go with yours. So make sure you've got longest, shorter, shortest. Fantastic. If you have managed to do that, well done. By the end of the year, that's what we were really trying to do, to be able to put three items in order of which is the longest and which is the a bit shorter and which is the shortest. So well done if you've managed to do that. Right, I'm going to put those bits over to the side and I'm going to very quickly show you how to do some measuring. This is really year one work. So measuring using other things, okay? So I'm going to get a book. 
And it's a hide and seek pig. So I'll pop the book there. I'm going to measure how long the book is, but I'm not going to use a ruler or a tape measure or anything like that just yet. Okay, you can use absolutely anything. If we're at school, we use the really little blocks, don't we? And we like to put them on top of each other and measure things. I haven't got any of those little blocks here and I don't know if you will at home, okay? So I am going to use, first of all, some Duplo blocks. If you are lucky enough to have some Duplo blocks, you can use these later on to measure. Okay, so I'm going to see how many Duplo blocks long the book is. So I need to keep adding some more. I need to make it the same length. Is it just about that? I'll give one more, I think. Can you see how that's the same? So the book measures one. Let's start that side actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven Duplo blocks. So I'm going to write that down. Okay, I'm going to write book. Oh. And it was, oh, 11, our number of the week. 11, that's how many that measures. Okay, so then I'm going to choose something else to measure with the Duplo blocks. I'm going to measure the pen. Ooh, let's see how many. So I'm going to take a few off because I don't think the pen is as long. There we go. Can you see it's the same? So that's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Duplo blocks long. So I'm going to write pen. How do I write pen? Hold on, tell me. P. E. N. P. E. N. How many was it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That measured eight Duplo blocks. Now, don't worry if you don't have any Duplo blocks. You can use lots of other things. As long as you use the same thing each time, it's fine. So you can use pasta. Okay. Pasta is a good thing to use to measure. So I'll measure the pen. One, two, three, four. So the pen measures four pieces of pasta. Now I'll measure the book. One, Two, three, four, five. So the book measures five pieces of pasta. Don't worry if you haven't got pasta, if you haven't got blocks. Have you got any paper? Okay, you can make some little rectangles or some squares and use those to measure. One, two, three three rectangles long okay so you can use whatever you would like as long as you use the same thing each time go around the house and find some different things to measure and write down how many items they measure okay if you haven't got pasta you haven't got bricks you haven't got cheerios or anything if you can't find anything you could find some big things to measure and maybe use shoes or socks Okay, so you could maybe measure how long the sofa is using socks. So line all the socks up along. Okay, so that's a really good idea. So I would love to see some of your measuring on Class Dojo. So first of all, you need to put three things in order from longest to shortest or from shortest to longest. Okay, and when you've done that, go around the house and measure different things using either blocks or pasta or your hands or socks or whatever you can find, anything that you can find, okay? I can't wait to see what you come up with, okay? I shall see you later on. Have a lovely day, everybody. Bye.